We are currently living in challenging times for the world and humanity as a whole. We want answers to those important questions that affect our lives and those of our loved ones. One of those important questions is, does homegrown purple popping corn pop purple? G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me and in this video I'm going to answer that question so we can all get some sleep. Let's get into it. Before we do get straight to the answer of does homegrown purple popping corn actually pop purple, let me first explain and demonstrate on how easy it is to grow this in your own backyard. I started by preparing a round raised garden bed in the usual way, topping it up with some compost and then I added some old composted chicken manure before mulching in well with some sugarcane mulch. I parted the mulch and sowed approximately 30 seeds, knowing that many of them might not make it and I could always thin them out later if the bed became too crowded. In about 10 days, the corn had sprouted, but we suffered an unexpected setback when a scrub turkey came in and rummaged through the bed, disturbing some of the seedlings. I'll have to fix this up. Just a matter of pushing it back in and being as delicate as possible and giving it good water in probably chasing grubs or something I'd say the turkey would have been at least it didn't destroy the whole bed if he does that again we might have to invite him to Christmas dinner and it won't be as a guest over the next few months I pretty much forgot about the popping corn and rarely even watered it which is a testament to how hardy it is the plant is a mini or dwarf version of corn you can see by the size of the cobs and it doesn't take up much space at all, only gets to about 1.5 metres high. For this type of corn, it's best to leave it on the plant until they die back completely, then harvest and leave in a dry place for at least a few weeks more to dry out even further before attempting to cook or pop the corn. Because if you try popping the corn when it's still a little moist, it won't pop correctly. It needs to dry out fully and really hard and then enclosed in that hard kernel is a little air pocket in the middle. And that's what makes the explosion and that popcorn. Now, speaking of popcorn, let's get to the corn popping. Removing the kernels is pretty easy. Put it this way, it's easier than most regular corn where you probably do need to use a kernel removal tool. In this case, popping corn of this size comes off the cob easy enough with your fingers. You can then use a large sieve to get rid of any pieces of dust or fluff from the cob before popping it like any other regular popping corn you'd buy from the store or grow yourself. One cob of purple popping corn like this is enough to make roughly two to three cups of popcorn. Simply add the corn to a pan with a few tablespoons of vegetable oil and cook over a low heat covered, of course, or you'll get popcorn all over the place. And in about five minutes, it will begin popping. When the popping stops or slows down to almost nothing, remove it from the heat because you need to be careful you don't leave it on too long as it will burn. Add some salt if you want or some butter and enjoy it with one of your favorite YouTube videos. I'm gonna have to eat those ones that have fallen out here. So does homegrown purple popping corn pop purple? Well, yes, it does, check it out. Okay, it's more like Snow White. In fact, it's the whitest popcorn I've ever seen. Well, maybe there's a little tinge of purple through it. Or is that my imagination? There's a slight, slight tinge. Maybe, maybe not. What's your opinion? But one thing is for certain, you won't get that at your local cinema, especially at the moment. What's it taste like? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's got an extra nutty flavor. It's just like regular popcorn, only better because I grew up myself and fed income. It really is nice. 
It just melts in the mouth, so it's not chewy at all. Mm. And it doesn't even need seasoning because it has a slight savory or saltiness about it already. Although a little Himalayan rock salt does zing it up to the next level if you so desire. The fact that I grew this in my own backyard does make it extra special. And now we've got plenty of seed, you can always grow it over and over and more of it. I did this as a bit of experiment, only had 30 seeds, didn't know how to go, but now I can grow a ton of it, save it up, stores for ages in the cupboard, just like regular popcorn. And there you go. Don't have to buy popcorn. It's a good talking point. It's fresh, it's organic, and it just tastes beautiful. Unlike anything you'll ever get anywhere else. I hope that answers the important question, does homegrown purple popping corn pop purple? If it does, make sure you pop that thumb up and give this video a big like. Thanks a lot for watching. It's time for me to pop off, share the video around, and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye for now. Really does taste good. Oh, wasted some.